For many of us, gas and bloating can be uncomfortable, unsightly, and sometimes embarrassing. Fortunately, there are steps you can take. Taming belly bloat. Gas and bloating are common and unwelcome, but they can be reduced. While underlying medical conditions must be ruled out by seeing your doctor, bloating is often caused by gas. Dietary adjustments may help. Bloating and distension can occur when gas builds up in the stomach or intestines. This gas can be caused by swallowing air when you eat or drink, or by the production of gas by the bacteria that inhabit your colon. Some foods are higher than others in carbohydrates that are fermented by gut bacteria. One of the end products of fermentation process is gas. Research suggests gas does not always lead to bloating. Some people's guts may be more sensitive to the presence of gas than others. A research suggests that some people have atypical muscle activity that redistributes abdominal gas leading to visible distension. So here's some steps. Eating slowly and skipping carbonated beverages is often advised to avoid swallowing excess air. Foods that trigger increased gas production in the gut vary by individual. Pay attention to what and when you eat and how you feel and try to identify the foods that most often cause gas for you. Common culprits include foods high in fermentable carbohydrates like apples, garlic, onions, cauliflower, wheat, and milk. Replace foods that routinely bother your belly with healthy choices that you tolerate more easily. Beans are particularly associated with gas production. Many of the fermentable carbohydrates in beans leach out into soaking liquid. When using canned beans, discard the fluid that they are packed in. When preparing dried beans, be sure to discard the soaking liquid. And here's some digestive issues. Irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, and celiac disease are digestive disorders that may increase gas production, bloating, or sensitivity to gas pain. Constipation can contribute to gas and bloating, as retained stool may make it difficult for gas to pass. Overgrowth or imbalance of bacteria in the colon can also contribute to increased gas production and can increase risk for bloating and discomfort. Lactose intolerance is a common cause of gas production. Many people lack the digestive enzymes to break down natural milk sugars, sometimes without realizing it. Pay attention to your symptoms after you consume milk or other dairy products. And here's some action steps. IBS, celiac disease, and other digestive issues should be diagnosed and treated by a healthcare professional. A breath test can diagnose lactose intolerance, but it is also but it is most often self-diagnosed. If you think you have trouble digesting lactose, try reduced lactose or lactose-free products or lactase enzyme tablets. Many people with lactose intolerance can tolerate yogurt and some hard cheeses because most of the lactose is broken down when these foods are made. If you choose dairy replacements, make certain they are fortified with calcium and vitamin D. To fight constipation, eat plenty of naturally high-fiber foods like fruits, vegetables, and minimally processed whole grains in place of low-fiber processed alternatives. Make the switch to high-fiber foods gradually, and be sure to increase fluid intake at the same time. Physical activities like walking and yoga may help digestive processes. You may want may want to ask your doctor or pharmacist if any of your medications increase constipation risk, there may be alternatives. Rest assured that while gas production is inevitable, you can take steps to help reduce bloating and discomfort. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope this was very useful. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know you actually liked it. If you found it useful, let me know down below. Let me know down below. 